Welcome to my freestyler tutorial. Today we are going to be patching lights. So let's go to setup, add remove fixtures. So you want to go to the letter on your keyboard corresponding to the brand, in this case American DJ. We're going to go down to Inno, so I press I, Inno, roll LED, and we'll press the add button. Start at row. Right here, this is row one, this is row two. By default, it sets this to the first available one. Number of fixtures to add, set it to however many fixtures you have. In this case, I have two of these fixtures. DMX Universe 1, there's two available universes. In my case, I'm only using the first universe. I don't have that many lights. Start at address, the next available is default. So in this case, no lights, so first available address is one. Enable addressing, yes. Auto create group. It'll create a group over here on the left with all of those lights. So we're gonna go to add. So we have address one through eight and nine through 16 in universe one. Next, does not matter where your cursor is in here when you're adding lights, by the way. We're going to go to Martin. And in this case, I'm gonna show you how to search. So I'm searching for an MX1. Go to search, and I found a Martin MX1. Find next location, if I press yes, it'll search for the next thing with MX1 in it. In this, ten, in this case, it's MX10 Extreme version two, and then no. So in this case, I'm gonna select MX1, I'm gonna go add lights, start at row three, automatically set that for me. Number of fixtures, I'm gonna set it to four. DMX starting address, it automatically sets it to the next available. So 16, one through 16 are already used. It's gonna set it to 17 by default. So you don't have to change that. Unless you have like a council board that you're using as a backup and you want it, the, the fixtures to correspond to the button to the, the scanner buttons on your board, you'd want to set one light to channel one and the next to channel nine if you have an eight channel or channel 17 if you have a 16 channel board. That way you have a backup in case your computer malfunctions, which it can happen, it's happened to me. I'm sure everyone's had computer malfunctions, but anyway. Auto create group, you want those to both be enabled. Boom, it just added my lights. Then I'm gonna go to MX4, add a couple of those. Starts at address 41, next available. Next thing I wanna show you in this, in this panel is you're gonna to want to enable your fixtures to let sound react to sound when enabled. Fixture react to the sound. So there's a program called Sound to Light. It's a plug-in for Freestyler. And you're gonna want to manually go through every one of these and click on that if you want your lights to dance to the music at all. Ignore master intensity. There is a master intensity slider in this program. And you can click on this to have certain lights, like a par light, ignore the intensity slider, or have you know your your HID lights, like the MX4s. You don't want them to dim because you don't want those light. You'd say ignore master intensity, ignore blackout. Let's say you have par lights in the corner of your your stage or whatever, or in a wedding around the edge, you have up lighting and you don't want those to shut off when it goes into blackout mode, which means all your addresses go to zero and all the lights shut off, you'd click ignore blackout on those lights, on the par cans or whatever the case is, creativity. So anyway, that's all the name brand lights I have. I created a new folder via the fixture creator called AAA, where I put all my off-brand lights I'm gonna add one of these, which is a wash light. Then I'm gonna add some RGB par cans. 
All right, I just fixed a basic show um, and I patched it in. So here's my patch list of all the lights I've just patched in. I'm gonna close this out and you can see that now my groups are here. I can select my groups according to the light. So these are the MX4s, these are the Parkans. I can select all of a, of a group type, of a certain type by doing that. But let's say I add more lights. They're gonna disappear off this shelf completely disappear off the screen and I won't be able to click on them. That's not good. So what you do to fix that is you go up here to edit and you go to move fixtures. That's a toggle. So now when I select a light, you select the light and you move it. Then you deselect the light and you select the next light and you move it wherever you want it to. Let's say, in my case, I want them to be in rows according to their types. And if you accidentally have two of them selected, it's gonna move them both, which is handy in case you want to move them. So you gotta deselect that other one first. So I can actually select a bunch of lights and move them. I want more spacing there, let's say. I can. Select the next light, move it up. So that just kind of allows you to have a neat organized, you know, selection area. So it's easy to select lights. It's in an organized fashion. You can select these if you want, like um, let's say you have these lights below. You can actually order it in the way your lights are on the floor. So just gonna order it how I have it here, just to demonstrate. This one's off in a different corner. So I can select all of these, move them up, just allows you to manipulate fixtures. So I'm gonna go to move fixtures, deselect that. Now if I select them, they won't let me move them around so how to select fixtures. There's a few different ways. I can select the fixture. I can lasso the fixtures, but the fixtures toggle. So I can detoggle this one. So let's say I want this light to be adjusted. And then I want both of these lights to be adjusted. Then I want all three of these lights, or let's say I only want the center two. I can adjust them. Here's my DMX values over here for the individual channels, channel one, two, three, four for that light. And, but there's a better way to control the light, which is these windows. So you want to select your light, go to windows all and drag these into a position you like them. I like the lamp at the top and the, and the position settings at the bottom. That's just me. I like to space these out because there's different types of lights. So if I select this light over here, there's actually a color option. I want the color option to be down here, for instance. So now I go to this one, to this one, and now these various different options here don't like overlap with each other. So that's just kind of how I like to arrange these windows. That's just me though. You can arrange them however you want. And then they stay where, they're, where they are until you go up here and reset windows positions. I don't want to do that right now though. I just did it before this video to demonstrate how the selection process works. So we can select whatever lights we want. And I'm going to show you how to move the lights around. So with a few different types of lights. So my rollers, we have the various different positions of the gobos. We can roll to the next gobo. We can control the speed at which the roller rolls, or we can control the position of the panning of the, the design of the roller. Down here we have gobo rotation, um, different things with different lights for the macros. And then we have gobo colors, 
You can select the Gobo colors. Same with the MX-4, has a Gobo color wheel, or color wheel rather. And the MX-1s are a lot simpler. All they have is just the Gobos, because the Gobos are the colors. And then if we go to the PAR lights, it's actually RGB mixing, because there's three different channels. Red, green, and blue. And of course, white is the fourth channel. And all these are up here. But also up here is the dimming of the light. You're going to want to select how bright the light is all together. You can do that here. So if you want different colors for different lights, but you want to select them, you can select all four lights, dim them, and then you can select just one of the lights and change that one's color, change this one's color, change this one's color, just different color values. Above the light, it shows you what color they're on, and beside the lights, it shows you what gobos they're currently positioned in, just to give you a you know convenient you know show of where you are. Anyway, so let's say I want to take all of my MX lights and move their mirrors together. Boom! Mirrors are facing up. Mirrors are facing down. Mirrors are to the right, to the right down, etc. And you can just move this to control the mirrors. Or you can just select a couple of the lights. Let's say we want just the outside lights. Toggle those. Say we want those down and the center ones all to be up. We can select the center ones, move them up. That's just kind of how you move them around. You can select their gobos. And on the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the sequences and the cues for the next video.